Hi guys, cheers. Welcome to December in uh, Taijiang. Actually, yesterday was uh, was really very cold, so it's just bizarre. It just kind of switches like that. So a little while ago, mm, maybe two months, we moved house. Have you ever wondered what it's like to go house hunting in Asia? Well, it is pretty similar to house hunting in, I guess, anywhere. With the added bonus of not being able to understand anything that the agents are saying, it ends up being the apartment has to speak for itself. Um, so what you see is pretty much what you expect to get. You don't have anyone, you know, bullshitting you. Um, so that was, I guess, I guess that's good. Oh. So, we met some estate agents and we checked out four apartments in total. Um, so here is apartment number one. The master bedroom. This is quite a big house to me. And this is enough for like a little table and chairs. I feel like even if we like that location better, I don't think any of those apartments are going to do like this for the price. Oh. Okay, apartment number one. I think it's fair to say went down pretty well. And this is apartment number two. Slightly different, so we moved on to apartment number three. So I feel like the other ones are quite white, bright. This one's yeah. very like, yellow. Yeah. Which I'm not a fan of. Really. It also smells like someone smoked in here. You smell that? It smells, it smells old and musty. <coughs> well, it smells like the window has been open in about five years. It's a shame because it feels like this was someone's house. Mm -hmm. I, know that, I know that's silly because they all were someone's house, but this one is the first one. The last one was very new. It looked like no one really lived there. No one lived there yet. I'm sure they the did. first one was kind of clean, but this one is just feels like it was someone's been shipped out of it. I know sometimes they haven't repainted the walls. Is that usually a thing you do? Yeah, maybe. So So the first two were quite modern. This one was a bit more traditional. <laughs> Um, and then we went on to a final apartment, which is apartment number four. It's the edge of the city. Dead people. <laughs> they have a graveyard. Great, but it's uh, far away. But that's a uh, Oh, that's a cemetery over there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay. Big living area. Mmm, rat highway. The ensuite tap shower. 
it's um, desirable. Oh, we can see our neighbours. Who died here? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can go visit their grave. This is cute. You can sit across from everyone. Oh, nice breeze. That's a positive. And this doesn't look so bad. I mean, all you see is a fire. This guy. Just there, you walk up and down. This is the smallish. You can fit a pineapple. Yeah. <laughs> Fong, li Fong Li yeah. doesn't quite fit the requirements. Well, since the other one is only $1,000 more and it has a washer. I can just run every bedroom. And a fridge, right? Yes, big fridge. And a, like a pantry shelf rack thing. Oh, there's the body. Unfortunately, I don't have a mystery house, but we pretty much had a clear winner. Can you guess what it was? Yep, it was flat number one. We liked flat number one and two, but two was too, too extravagant, and it was too expensive for us, and that glass window bedroom was really weird. We kind of fell for the first flat, so we got it. So the next job is signing for it, obviously, and paying, <laughs> paying months rent, two months rent in deposit, and I don't know, I feel like there was something else, I can't remember now, but um, but it was ours. We got it for a year, and um, we moved in. Cheers. Actually, we ended up moving in after a week of heavy cleaning, because unlike houses at home that are usually presented in a relatively clean fashion, these houses weren't. So after a week of cleaning, Hard scrubbing. We moved in. So, so yeah, uh, I'm in coffee, um, drinking sweet collection. That was Black Coffee Diaries. I'm Matthew Blake, and I'll see you next time.